In this video, you will learn how to solve this nice Olympiad exponential problem. We are asked to find the value of x in x to the power 2 a to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x equal to 130. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share this video with friends and colleagues, and remember to subscribe to my channel for more simplified mathematics solution. Now let's get started. To solve this, I want you to note that uh, 8 can be equal to 2 to the power of 3, right? Taking. Now that means I can replace 2 to the power of 3 with the values of 8. So if I do that, we're going to have this to become 2 to the power of 3 all to the power of x and this will be plus 2 to the power of x and this will be equal to 130. Great. Now let's simplify this further. Remember an algebraic formula that if I have my a to the power of x multiplied by y and this can equally be equal to a to the power of y multiplied by x. So I invert the powers. If I do that, this is going to be equal to, and apply that here, 2 to the power of x all to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of x and this will be equal to 1, 3, 0. Great. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to assume the value of 2 to the power of x to be equal to y. So if I have my 2 to the power of x to be equal to y, I'm going to use this as a unique expression because we're going to make reference to it as a solution to this question. Go on. So that expression will now become y to the power of 3 plus y. y we subtract 130 from both sides that will give us minus 130 and this will be equal to zero now this is what we call a polynomial equation because the highest power there is equal to uh, three but in this instance we don't have a power of two but we can still call it a polynomial equation now let's simplify this polynomial equation for the value of y. Now remember our key aim is to find the values of x. Now let's do something. I'm going to use factorization method in simplifying this. Now remember that from this expression our 130 can simply give us 26 times 5, right? 26 multiplied by 5 will give us 130. And I want you to recall that if I have a plus 1 here, which is the same thing as plus y, which is the same thing as positive y or 1, that can be equal to, I can have that to become, um, if I have my 26 minus 25, that will be what? that will be equal to positive 1, which is positive what? y. So that means I can simplify, I can, I can insert that in place of 130 and positive 1. If I insert that, all these uh, factor uh, values into that expression, I'm going to have my y to the power of uh, 3, right, minus 25, y plus 26y minus 130 and this will be equal to 0. Now if you check these two expressions, you find out that it's still going to give you a positive y. So I didn't change anything. I don't factor. I just factored out that expression. So if I simplify this, we have y to be common and this will give me y minus y square minus 25 right great why this would be plus what is common here is uh, 26 right 26 
and I'll have this to be y minus 5. Remember, we say 26 multiplied by 5 will give us 130, and this will be equal to 0. Now, also recall that 25 can be equal to 5 squared. So I can simply replace that with this. So this will give me y multiplied by y squared minus 5 squared, which is going to give me a difference of 2 squared plus 26 multiplied by y minus 5. And this will be equal to 0. Great. Now let's simplify this. Remember that this expression is leading me to a difference of two square, two square, and we have uh, a square minus b square in algebraic formula to give me what a plus b, right? And then we have a minus what minus b. So if I replace that, I'm going to have that value to become y multiplied by y plus 5 we'll have our y minus 5 and this will be plus 26 multiplied by y minus 5 and this will be equal to 0 great now you've noticed something that we have two values of negative 5 and negative 5 so what we're going to do is we're going to bring out 1y minus 5. So 1y minus 5 will now give us what? If this whole expression divided by y minus 5, we'll be left with what? y multiplied by y plus 5, right? And if this whole expression divided by y minus 5, we'll have our plus 26 remaining and this will be equal to zero. So this have brought us to what we call the zero product law. And from this expression, we can bring out two points that are y minus five is equal to zero. Or we can simply also say that our y square plus five y, if we expand this expression, plus 26 is equal to what? Zero. So from this part, we can see that if we add 5 for both sides, our y minus 5 plus 5 will be equal to 0 plus 5. While this clears this, our y will be equal to 5. So the value of our y is equal to that's the first value for y we've gotten. Now let's look at how we can get the second value for y. Now this expression can be compared with ax squared, right, plus bx plus c equal to 0, which is a quadratic formula. And from this expression, our a is equal to 1, our b will be equal to 5, and our c will be equal to 26. Now to solve this quadratic formula, we're going to check if the solution to this quadratic formula is going to give us a real solution or imaginary solution. And to do that, we're going to find the discriminant of that expression. The discriminant will be equal to b squared minus 4ac. Now, if we do that, we're going to look at substituting the value of a, b, and c into the expression. This will be equal to 5 squared minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 26. This will be equal to 25 minus 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 26 is equal to 104, right? So the discriminant will be equal to 
25 minus 104 that will give me a negative 79 and negative 79 is what is less than what zero so what does that tells us that tells us that the solution that will come from solving this quadratic equation will definitely give us imaginary solution so what does that tells us that we are going to what neglect the solution because we can't get any real solution from there and the only real solution we'll have is y equal to 5. now recall that we made the value of uh, 2x equal to y so we're going to find the value of x and that is what we need to find so at y equal to 5 which is the solution we've gotten we are asked to find the values of 2 to the power of x equal to y so uh, 2 to the power of x will be equal to 5 how do we find the solution to this we're going to see two methods we can use in finding the solution to this the first method we're going to take the log of both sides and the log is going to be the log of base 10. Remember, if we don't put any power to this log rating, it seems it means they are in what? In base 10. So this will give us log 5. So from the log of log log, log rating, this will come over here to give us x log of what? 2 equal to log of what? Log of 5. So with this, we can divide both sides by the log of 2. If we divide both sides by the log of 2, what would that expression give us? Log of 2. That expression will give us the value of our x to be equal to log of 5 divided by log of 2. Now, since both of them are in this thing, I want you to recall this log expression. From this log expression, we are told that if we have the log of, if we have the log of uh, b base x divided by the log of a base x, this will be equal to the log of b base what is a so if we have that expression that means this solution or this logarithm is going to give us the value of our x is going to give us the log of 5 base what 5 base 2 and that is the solution to the value of x that satisfies that logarithm expression given to us there or we can simply solve this solution by doing it this exact way if we are giving 2 to the power of x equal to 5 we can take the log of base 5 of both sides so if we take the log of base 5 of both sides we'll have the log of 2x base 5 to be equal to the log of 5 base 5 and according to the law of log within the log of a base a will be equal to 1 so if we have this comes over here we're going to have our x log of 2 base 5 to be equal to 1 recall that the log of a base a is equal to 1. So from this expression, we can simply find the value of x by dividing both sides by the log of 2 base 5. So if we divide both sides by the log of 2 base 5, this clears this, and then the value of x will be equal to 1 divided by log of 2 base 5.
Now I'm going to draw your attention to another law of logarithm that if we have 1 divided by log of a base b, this can simply give us the log of b is what is a. That's the law of reciprocal of logarithm. So if we apply that here, we're going to have the value of our x to be equal to the log of 5 is what is 2, which is the solution to that uh, equation that is given to us up here. So that is the solution to the value of what x. And you can see it's same with the initial expression. Now let's find out or check to find out if our solution is right. So we're going to check to find out if the value of x equal to 5 is 2 log 5 base 2 is correct. We are given the initial expression that h to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 130. Now, given this, remember that the val value of x is equal to the log of uh, 5 base 2, right? And this can be equal to the log of 5 divided by log of 2. Remember that log expression we found out earlier on. Now if we check our log table, these values will give us log of 5 is going to give us 0 0.699 divided by log of 2 is going to give us approximately 0 0.301. And if we simplify this, the value of x will be equal to uh, approximately 2.32. That's what it will give us approximately. So if we have that value and we can insert it into that expression, uh, h to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x, right? Can it be give us 130? Now let's do that. If we do that, we're going to have this expression to now give us h to the power of 2.32 plus 2 to the power of 2.32. Now what is this solution going to give us? a to the power of 3.2, you point your calculator, will get approximately 125.2. 0, 2, right? Plus, this is going to give us 5.00. 0, 0. Now, if we add these two expressions, can we get 130? Yes, this will give us approximately 130.02, which is approximately what? 130. And it's still equal to 1. 30. So that simply tells us that the value of x equal to the log of 5 is 2 is a solution or the value of x that satisfies that exponential equation that is given to us above there. I know you did enjoy watching this math solution. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with friends and colleagues, and remember to subscribe to my channel for more simplified mathematics solutions. Thanks so much for watching, and bye-bye for now.